What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Makery Online. I am Mr. Robert. Let's jump into what we're doing today. One. All right, guys. Today we are going to go ahead and put together this hook and ring game. By now, you should have your kit. If not, it's either on the way or you're in the process of picking it up. Um, so I'm gonna bring my helper out, Sophia. She's also in the sixth grade. So this is her kit that she's putting together. Uh, Sophia, go ahead and show them what's inside the envelope. You have one glue bottle. You have one, about nine inches of string, a little more than nine inches. You have one ring. One hook. One eye screw. Two inch and a half screws, and three inch and a quarter screws. You're gonna have two posts, one eight and a half inches, one nine and then three eighths of an inch, one base plate, and three wedges. I get started with the base. Oh. Skirt. All right, you will need the tool at home is a Phillips screwdriver. That is this one here with the crisscross head. And you might need a pair of scissors or maybe a lighter or something later. We'll talk about that more later. Um, let's go ahead and start with the base plate. There is a front and back of the base plate and top and bottom. So the bottom of the base plate is the one with the bigger hole at the bottom. Okay, when the holes open wider right here, that's the bottom. Okay, the top is the one with the hole that's smaller, and then the front is this side, the back is the side with the hole in it, okay? So, the back side, front side, top, bottom, all right? Now, you are going to grab the eight and a half inch post, okay? You're gonna notice that the, there's a hole in it on the side here, it's five inches from the bottom here, so you make sure you put glue here at the bottom, not the top. Okay. Again, we're putting glue on the section that has the bigger diameter right here at the bottom. With these glue bottles, it's okay to take the head off because it's, sometimes it's hard to squeeze the glue out. Go ahead and smear this in with your finger. Your finger on a paper towel or napkin. You want the adult to make sure that the hole is facing to the front of the board, like that. And you're gonna hold it into place like so. You're gonna take one of the two inch and a half screws, put it in the hole, get your Phillips screwdriver, and start tightening it up. You wanna turn it to the right Right is to tighten. sure it's still facing the front yep it didn't move and do the last little turn all right you're gonna make sure it's facing the front okay so if you have squeeze out squeeze out is where glue comes out the bottom you can use the edge of your envelope and wipe down the edges and get rid of some of that glue okay now, you're gonna get your hook and tighten it into this hole. Remember, you wanna turn it to the right to tighten it into the wood, righty-tighty, 
lefty loosey. You want to tighten this all the way until the threads is all the way into the wood. And the hook is facing up. Okay. And if you can't get it, I think you can have your parents help you a little bit and turn it to last a little bit. There you go. Make sure the hook is facing up. All right. Now you want to put glue here on the top of the post. Again, if you're having a hard time, squeeze the glue out of the tip of the bottle. You can take the cap off and get the glue out that way. Okay, smear it in with your finger. And have your parents help again. And you're gonna get the other two, you're gonna get the other inch and a half screw. And the side that has the bigger hole on your second post is in a face up. You make sure that you have your pre-drilled hole at the bottom there down, your inch and a half screw, and you're going to put it into the post. Go ahead and get your Phillips, righty tighty, and tighten it down. job all right now if you have glue squeeze out now would be the time to clean that up okay and now we're going to put the eye screw in okay that's the eye screw um, we jumped ahead a little bit here but if you turn this this way and Start turning it in there. Okay, you still yeah, we gotta get it started before you put that in there. Okay, you might need your parents' help to get it started a little bit. You need a little bit of pressure. Or I'm just weak. And then after you get it going, you can put the screwdriver inside of it. So you want to make sure that the eye <coughs> screw is facing sideways on the post so the string will swing back and forth this way. Okay, move it back up like that. All right, now, okay, now we're going to put the wedges on. There is a countersink on top, so this side and this side are the bottom. So you want to make sure you put glue here and here, and then put them down into place like so. Just like that, okay? them down just like that and then we'll screw those in after you put the glue on again with the wedges there is a countersink the countersink is the top so you want to put glue on the opposite two ends okay She's putting glue. Perfect. All right. This is where you're going to take your inch and a quarter screws now. And you're going to tighten these down into the board. I will hold them still, Sophia. You go ahead and put them in with your screwdriver.
Okay, that's tight enough. Let's do the other one. We'll turn it around. <gasps> Put the hole the wrong way. So you gotta reverse it. Go ahead and start going down. Go ahead and finish that off. Good job. All right, now we're done with that. That. Let's go ahead and. Oh, you guys gotta put that one on. Sure. We'll put one more wedge. Your last wedge is gonna go right here. So you, this time you want the the countersink to be on top and going down this way. So you put glue on this side and this side. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and get your screw. Last screw. Stop. All right, good job. All right, that's in now. So now what we're gonna do is tie a string on the ring. Go ahead and tie the string. Okay, so after you get it tight, if you're not sure if it's tight, go ahead and use your screwdriver. Okay. Wrap the string around it, like so, and then pull tight. Okay, that's pretty good. Now you want to put this on here and feed the string through the eye screw. Gently, because... Gently, yes. Don't try and rip it through. The trick here is to tie one knot Get it started. Right? Mm-hmm. And then start tightening up until this lifts up. Nope. Because you're pulling that string. Okay, so watch this. Okay, so you want to do it really loose. So you want to keep it loose, you're gonna pull and keep moving the knot down until you lift that hook up a little bit or the ring up a little bit, okay? And then when you release it, perfect. Okay, and now that should go on there like so. Then you want to tie two more knots, Sophia. Okay. Go ahead. Right, nice so tie. I'm nice taut. Nice. Nice. Taut. Knots. Okay. So all right. <clears throat> so once you pull the slack up in this, you want to tie this knot off. Okay. And then after you're done with all that, you can go ahead and cut this extra string off. If you're right-handed, you need right-handed scissors. I don't have right-handed, that's why she's having problems. She's a lefty. I don't got lefty scissors. Sorry, Sophia. And just like that, your game is finished. Now you just... All right, then once you're all done, you should have something like this. And then, this is how you play. There you go. All right, guys. That's the hooking ring game. My name is Mr. Robert. <laughs>